Hello on Memorial Day from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. We're shooting two videos this morning. This one's going to be about sports, and it's fun. But we also shot one talking about the true meaning of Memorial Day and how important it is that we be grateful and that we realize that while saying thank you is woefully inadequate, we say thank you anyway. All right, so sports-wise, this is supposed to be one of those stories that writes itself, right? The Celts get down 0-3, and they start walking the green mile. Then they get a dignity win in game number four to avoid summary execution, but there's no reason to think it's anything other than a brief stay. Still, sports pundits being sports pundits, and particularly Northeast sports pundits being Northeast sports pundits, they start bragging how Boston will become the first team in NBA history to come back from 03 and win a series. And that was chiseled in stone, and everybody picked up on it and started saying that. Now, actually, if you think about it, that's not as bold a prediction as they would like you to think, because this is one of those deals. If you're wrong, nobody cares, nobody remembers, but if you're right, all of a sudden you're Nostradamus and it boosts your national image. Okay, so, all right, true it up. Here we are, tied at three. Miami was one-tenth of a second from advancing to the NBA Finals, and that mental torment, admittedly, is going to be hard to overcome. Derek White is now John effing Havlicek. These are the Celtics, cloaked in a green cape of destiny, playing a Game 7 at home, and wanting to light up a cigar that would make Auerbach blush. So this is a done deal, right? That's what I'm hearing. This is as good as over, okay? Um, in fact, I'm hearing a lot of people saying it's going to be a Boston blowout. Hmm. Well, not so fast, Bean Breath. There's a reason why teams who take a 3-0 lead are 150-0 and zero in closing the deal and finishing the job. Now, it's either three or four previous NBA teams have rallied from an 0-3 deficit to tie the series at three, but not a single one of them won game seven. So I know all you Boston Files, John Kirby, John Rook et al., and I love you guys, but yeah, I'm familiar with the 2004 Red Sox. Yeah, I've heard about them, okay? Same city, but entirely different sport and different circumstances. All right, so I'm sticking with the heat. I picked them. I don't mind being wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll own it because it's happened twice before. So if I'm wrong, it wouldn't be that big a deal. Um, this can't be good. The NBA reportedly is investigating 19 years veteran league referee Eric Lewis, who heretofore has a great reputation. It appears that E may be just a little bit sensitive to criticism. It looks like Lewis may have got himself a Twitter burner account on which he defended NBA refs, himself included, from recent public criticism. Now, see, you're not supposed to do that. Here's the best part. Lewis reportedly used the social media pseudonym and handle Blair Cutliff. How dare you rip me off, man? How dare you do that? All right, Le'Veon Bell, the always thirsty Le'Veon Bell, has disclosed that he used to smoke Mara Jahuchi prior to NFL games. Mm -hmm. You see him his last two years in Pittsburgh? Okay, I can dig it. He was dazed and confused. All right, new vistas. New vistas in stupid conspiracy theories which now dominate our culture. So dude, who shall remain anonymous, gets on Facebook yesterday and suggested that the Indy 500 was rigged because Penske owns the track. That kind of shit is kind of triggering a prostatitis flare for me. But I will tell you this, soupy sales did kill both the Kennedys. All right, and that's a fact. Um, there are Myriad reasons why I could never win the Indy 500 and wouldn't want to. I ain't drinking no milk, man. That stuff is not good for grown men. Uh, the Astros with a really impressive batting practice session yesterday. Seven home runs 
Jordan gets two, and Altuve hits his first of the season, and Abreu finally gets loose. Yeah, okay, but you got to keep this in mind. It was against the Oakland A's, but it was a very impressive BP session. Again, thank you for watching this. Thank you for everything you do for Radically Rational. We encourage you to watch the other video this morning about Memorial Day. Peace to all. We are Radically Rational.